Rumors have been circling about millions of dead people receiving social security checks, but is that true? It's not. There's been a lot of confusion, right? So Elon Musk looked at the list and said, why are there all these 150 year olds in this database? And then people went crazy. They subtracted 150 off today's date. They got 1875. And then they made up all these stories about how, well, 1875 is the default date for dates in COBOL. It's not. There are no dates in COBOL. They said, well, it's, it's the default date from the ISO 8601 standard. It's it's not. And then finally, they got the table data that Elon Musk was looking at. And what he's looking at is that 150 to 159 is the last age where there's still more than a million people listed. But it tapers off all the way down to showing one person who's somewhere between 360 and 369 years old in the database. So there isn't something special about 1875. There's just a lot of impossibly old people listed in this database, especially when you realize that they only started giving out social security cards in 1936. So it sounds like there actually are millions of dead people in the database. Well, yes. I mean, first, the database has everyone who's ever gotten a social security number. Second, they're always checking for bad data. The other thing is they just put in a hard rule in the software. Anyone who is older than 115 years old does not receive their checks. So if that 360-year-old is somehow still marked as alive, when it goes to print their check, it will refuse to print it. So the 150-year-olds are receiving zero. They've been receiving zero, even if they are in that database. They've got controls against them.